Welcome to AMS, Africa Mining Services, Ghana. We seek to present to you a safety video on how we carry out our pre-start inspection on a minor equipment using a light vehicle, for an example. We are bent on achieving a workforce and a team that are safety conscious in all their task jurisdictions and task executions. Today, you will see what we stand for anytime we are carrying out a pre-start inspection. Use a pre-start inspection checklist book and make sure that a tick is made against anything that is checked. As you approach the vehicle, check the surrounding to make sure there is no one around and inside the vehicle. And make sure there is a wheel chalk in place. Engage your gear, turn the engine off, remove the key from the ignition and put it in your pocket. It is good to get into the habit of starting and finishing your walk around at the same place of the equipment or vehicle. Make a visual check on the mirrors. Check doors open and close properly. Check pressure and condition of tires and the bolts are well secured. Make sure the tire has enough tread depth. Check the exhaust for wear and tear and rust. Next, check for broken or missing tail lights. Make sure lights are in good condition. Where fitted with a tow hook, make sure that it is in good condition. Walk to the other side of the vehicle. Check the tires. Make sure the tire has enough tread depth and the bolts are well secured. Check doors open and close properly. Make similar check on mirrors. Make sure they are not broken. Now check tire number four. Make sure the tire is in good condition. Check the headlights and the indicators Make sure there are no cracks. Now check the remaining tires. Check spare tire on vehicle and don't forget to check the tire valve. Check the spare tire carrier and make sure that it is tightly fitted. Check wiper blades for wear and tear and make sure they are in good condition. Update your checklist. Engine not running checks. Open the bonnet of the vehicle and make sure it is secured. Make visual and contact checks on the battery terminals for rust and make sure terminals are tightly fitted. The engine coolant must be between the maximum and minimum levels. Pull dipstick and check oil levels. Oil level must be between the maximum and minimum levels. Now check the brake fluid and the power steering reservoirs. Make sure that they all have the right quantity. The radiator. Make sure it is well seated. Next, the air filter. Check it is well seated and not wobbly. The engine fan. Check and make sure fan is well connected and there are no damages on the blades. Check the fan guard and make sure it is well secured. The alternator and compressor belts must be free from wear and tear. 
check all hoses in the engine compartment for leakages. Now check for any water and or oil leaks in the engine or on the ground. Make visual checks on the homes and update your checklist. Close bonnet securely. Door handles. Make sure that the door opens and shut properly. Now check and make sure that the safety triangles first aid kit, the jack and its accessories are present in the vehicle. Check the fire extinguisher. The mounting seat must be firm. The pressure gauge reading needle should be in the green area. Check that the extinguisher has not been used by making sure that the safety pin and tamper seal are in place. And also, the extinguisher service certificate must be up to date. Seats on the vehicle must be in good condition including the covers. The seats must be able to move back and forwards freely. Now check the seat belts. They must be able to lock and unlock easily. Blow the horn and make sure it is in good working condition. Update your checklist. Engine not running, ignition on checks. With the gear on neutral, turn the key without starting the engine and note the fuel and temperature levels. Driver inspecting vehicle should seek assistance from a spotter to carry out this procedure. First, check the hazard lights. Next, check the left and right indicators. Next, check the high, low and fog lights. Move to the back and check the hazard lights. The left and right indicators. Flashing lights. Brake lights and reverse lights. Check the two-way radio by switching it on and then select a frequency. Radio handle to check. This part, this part, this part. LV213 radio checked. Engine running checks. Blow the horn once and with the gear in neutral, start the engine. Turn on the wiper and windscreen washer to check they are in good working condition. Now check the handbrake function. With gear in neutral, take foot off the brake. Check another vehicle and listen to any unusual noise. Now remove the wheel chocks. Blow the horn twice to alert the other workers around before moving the vehicle to test the brakes. Drive off a short distance and step on the brakes. Reverse the vehicle and step on the brakes again. Check that the steering wheel is intact by turning steering wheel left and right a couple of times. Leave the engine running for a few minutes. Fatigue alarm kicks in. Now press the reset button to stop it. Now update your checklist. If all boxes are ticked in the checklist, the machine or vehicle is safe to operate.
many faults that are detected in a pre-start inspection can be fixed immediately. Call Service Crew 